welcome to Kavisa's 5 minute videos. In 5 short minutes, we're going to show you how Kavisa provides automatic high availability with its grid architecture. First, some background. Kavisa VDI in a box is a turnkey virtual desktop solution that is one third to one fourth cheaper than other VDI alternatives. Kavisa does this by eliminating the need for shared storage and other expensive infrastructure. And Kavisa provides high availability and scales using just direct attack storage. So let's go ahead and see how Kavisa does that. In this live demonstration, we're gonna show you a grid set up with three commodity uh, servers with direct attack storage, Alpha 1, Alpha 3, and Alpha 7. User data is kept in a filer outside of the grid. The, on each of these servers, a hypervisor has been loaded and the Kavisa virtual appliance is running on that hypervisor. Virtual desktops have been provisioned on these machines and users are connected to them. Now, we're going to actually pull the plug on one of these servers, say Alpha 3, and we're going to show you how Kavisa handles this catastrophic failure. We're going to show you a user logged into Alpha 3 before the catastrophe happens. We're going to show you how they're able to reconnect easily to one of the live servers in the grid automatically. So let's go ahead and switch to the demo. We're logged in here as an administrator to the Kavisa grid. As we can see, we have Alpha 1, Alpha 3, and Alpha 7 all actively provisioning desktops. And we can see that there are three desktops running on Alpha 3. Let's go to the desktops view and see which users are logged into Alpha 3. By searching on Alpha 3, we see that Shaq and Sharapova are logged into Alpha 3. So we're going to switch to Shaq's desktop. Mm. So we've logged in as Shaq here, and we see that Shaq sees his desktops and his personal folders and all of his information. So as Shaq is working, we're going to go pull the plug on Alpha 3. So now we see that Alpha 3 has gone missing because it had a catastrophic failure. And realize that in a case of a catastrophic failure, tools like live migration cannot help because the server failed unexpectedly. Now you see that the Kavisa grid automatically recognized this failure and has migrated that workload to the other two healthy servers on the grid. So we see there's two new desktops starting on Alpha 1 and one on Alpha 7. Switching to Shaq's desktop, we see that his desktop has gone gray and he's being asked to re-log in. So Shaq's gonna re-log in and when he does that, Kavisa automatically brings that session up from one of the other live servers on the grid. As you can see, Shaq is able to get back to his work and continue working on his things. As we saw in this demonstration, Kavisa provides built-in high availability and redundancy without requiring shared storage. When there's catastrophic failure on any of the machines in the grid, Kavisa automatically detects this and rebalances the workload across the other live servers in the grid. Users' downtime is minimized and productivity is unaffected. To try it for yourself, download a free trial at www.kaviza.com. Thank you.